so all second year students must purchase bgs question banks the all question banks available in jagan bookstore so every student must so that is the material of you all second year students you know about the series of bgs you read that material in first year you gain more marks so now present the question banks are available in jagan bookstore first every student must purchase the and the practice is most important of your side so all first year students so here today so all first year students must purchase materials in jagan bookstore so that is the clear material of all first year students okay so today welcome to alpha online education it is a subject civics first year english medium so material compulsory so the question wise uh, question wise answers in your material so 10 marks questions 5 marks questions 2 marks questions so next classes i explain which question is 10 marks which question is 5 marks which question is 2 marks so after completion of the syllabus i give important questions to you which question is important of you in your annual examination so first i explain about the uh, question paper so the pattern of question paper in first videos so how many questions in the side of section b how many questions in the side of section b how many questions in the side of section 3 section c so here we give the unit number 11 the name of the topic is executive so i explain about the functions of legislature in previous video so the government organs these are all organs of the government even the government have three organs one is legislature and another is executive and third is judiciary so these three are organs to the side of government i completion the first organ what is the that is legislature so the legislatures the representatives of the people of the legislatures the people representatives of the legislature so here another organ that is the executive executive in telugu karya nirvahaka vargam or karya nirvahaka shaakha in telugu karya nirvahaka vargam or karya nirvahaka shaakha so the role of this is a very important role the first legislature they make laws the executive who implement laws those are all executives the laws all are implemented by executives the legislatures all are representatives of the people all legislatures all are elected by the people so here the department of executive so here the all officials just like uh, government employees all are they are the implementators the role of implementators is a uh, very important role at the time of implementation of law so the the role of executives is very very important role in this executive side so all government officials all government officials are our executives government employees so all government government employees are our all executives executives the government employees so i is to attend them so the legislatures are our not command only they weigh is 
make laws. The implementer's role is very important. Finally, the attestation of executive is most important. So, what the legislature says? So, the district collector of Nalgonda is executive. So, the minister of district is not executive. He is the legislature. So, the minister do not sign authentic authority. Who is the authentic? The district collector is the authentic. In Mandal level, the site, the thais is the, is the authentic, authentic. So these are all executives. Yes, here the types of executive, the one is nominal executive. So for example, the president of India is a nominal executive. The president of India, example, the president of India is a nominal executive. So the total administration of India in his name, so he is a nominal. Okay? And then the real executive, the Prime Minister of India and the ministers of uh, the PM of India and uh, all ministers of he, those are all real executives. Those are all real executives. Okay? Vastanga Adhikara Chalanche Vekthu Nuhilu Inen Dante Nama Matra Kuda Adhikara Alu Matra Me Chala Istayu The single executive, only one man, one man show But only one man maintain total authority is a single executive And then the plural executive, so not only one So two or three or four members they maintain their authority that is the plural executive. Plural executive. But the authority is not only one man's side. The authority is inside of only one man's side. That is single executive. The authority is in various level. That is plural. That is plural executive. And then the parliamentary executive. So here, one logic. So here, the India, it is the parliamentary executive, executive country. It is the parliamentary executive. Here, the legislature's department of legislatures depends on executives. The executives depends on legislatures. So it's very, very important of you. What is parliamentary executive? Here, the legislature depends on executives. The executives depends on legislature. So, now present in our Indian side, no qualification in political side. So, who contests in election, the eligibility of he should be a citizen of India. He should complete his uh, 25 years or 30 years or 35 years. So the education qualification is not they sign. So who completed their degree, this candidate is eligible. Eligible candidate to contest in election. So no eligibilities in the side of that. No education qualities in the that legislature side the executive side the qualification is most important so now present majority ministers are, are not educated sons of and not educated sons of and attire now present the educators are, are involved in the politics now present so once upon a time okay puru uneducated put a politician i avoid now present our side all youngsters are contesting election, they are educators. So here the legislature, if the legislature is unemployed, at the time the executives give support to he. Okay? So all laws are prepared by executive department. So the lawmakers finalize that. 
so the, the, the preparation is in total hands of executives only the legislatures see that oh the way of this so here the parliamentary system parliamentary executive side the legislatures depends on executives the executives depends on legislature so here the third order it is judiciary it is in independent side it is in the side of independently okay no confuse uh, this parliamentary executive in the side the legislatures depends on executive the executives depends on legislatures but in here next the presidential executive here so the department of legislatures do not depends on executives the depend the department of executives do not depends legislature so the the duty of legislature is separate the duty of executive is separate the department of judiciary do its duty separately so another name of this presidential executive separation power of theory so i explained in previous video so the montesquieu is the founder of separation theory of power so who is the founder of separation theory of power the montesquieu introduced in his book the spirit of laws the name of the theory is separation theory of power so these are all the types of executive the one is nominal executive and the second one is real executive and the third one is single executive and the fourth one is plural executive the fifth one is parliamentary executive the sixth one is presidential executive so these are all the types of executive so in our indian executive side is parliamentary executive side we have two types of executives one is a nominal executive and another is a real executive in our parliamentary system side the parliamentary system of india taken from britain the title of britain parliament is mother of parliament what the title of britain parliament the mother of parliament is britain parliament so these are all the types and kinds of executive so what the function of executive the function of executive implement laws who prepare the laws the department of legislature prepare laws the department of executive implement the laws okay so no confuse about department of legislature department of executive here the nominal ex the, the, the nominal one is the uh, sorry the independent one is judicial department so here the functions of executive the functions of executive the functions of executive here the first function is defense and foreign affairs defense and foreign affairs the second one is administrative administrative functions third one is legislative functions the fourth one is financial functions the fifth one is welfare functions these five are functions of executive here the defense and foreign affairs so actually the de the department of defense it narrates important nowadays so the department of defense and foreign affairs these are all the functions of executives so actually the three forces inside of ours the one is army the one is army navy air force so these are all three forces in our side the head of these three forces is president of india so the head of uh, senior employee is a da to consult the uh, force so actually these three are in control of indian president so the the the, the heads of separate 
is belongs to their department. Actually, it will Rakshana Shakalo, Vaimanika Dalamundan Pondi. The Vaimanika Dalam was senior matrame, head of the Vaimanika, Viman. Navikan Kundan Pondi, Navka Dalam Pokai Mutter. Kavati Latra Sainyan Kapondi, Mokatan Mutter. So, they do their duties. If, if emergency at the time, they do not take any uh, legislature's permission. At the time, they decide full powers, they use their powers. So, nowadays, the government of India give more priority to de defense, uh, the Department of Defense. At the time of budget, more budget to the government of India released more budget to the Department of Defense. Rakshana Shakti ke ko prabhuva ke time to just to be. In the country, as an American and Kavali, President of India, Mida, Pakistan, big enemy of our India. And also recently, the China. It also attacks. So, here's the time. The Department of Def Defense alert and it fight against uh, the soldiers of enemies. It fight against the enemies. So you know about no present. Mananda Kitals, China Manamin was to be recently the Colonel Santosh Kumar. So he died. So attacking of China soldiers. So the Department of Defense uh, position is strong. If the Department of Defense is not strong, so the country is collapsed. And the government every program is to the retired soldiers or soldiers part of the recently the government of Telangana uh, alighted to Punjab, the Colonel Santosh Kumar's wife, the cadre of uh, sub collector. So, that is the powerful department. The department is in the hands of the executive and also foreign affairs. And then, Rakshana Madhu Videsha, Videsha, Rakshana Madhu Videshi, Vyavara Matthan Kuda, Executive Department Chodhra Nautta. Rakshana Madhu Videshi Vyavara, foreign affairs or external affairs. External affairs and uh, defense is the main function of uh, executives. Okay? And then the administrative functions. So actually the administration narrates important role. If the administrators do not support the government, the government is in not safe. So as uh, the administration, the Nevatam Palananta, Paripalananta. If the administration, administrators do not support the government, the government is not moved. So the department of administration, it's an very important role. So the department of administration is in hands of executives. So real, listen here. So all uh, experts is in the side of executives. So, they take more activities about the purpose of our administration, about the purpose of administration. So, these powers are, are administrative, administration powers to the side of our executives, to the side of executives, and then the legislative powers. So, actually the legislatures are, are so sometimes the legislators are, are illiterate. So the minister also illiterate at the time the department of executive support to he. So at the time of law making, the department of executive give more guidance to the legislatures. So for example, the Ministry of the Minister of Agriculture. So the Minister of Agriculture is legislative. The Department of Ministry is an executive. 
So if the minister sign, do not knowledge for any sign at the time, he take the valuable advices of the executives at the time, the executive's role is killed. The executives, I think I'm going to start. Adhikar will check about the Prabhupada for a check. Even Adhikar Prabhupada legislature say that there are a check and that there are a check and that there are a check and that there are a check. Minister Nagar application letter start. Sir, we suffered so and so problem. At the time he gave order to executive, consult, department candidate. At the time he did this issue. Okay? So, here the legislature, so all at the time of preparation of laws, they take support of the executives and then financial, financial functions. So here, the budget, who prepared that budget? The Ministry of Finance prepared the budget. The budget means it is the list of debit and credit. And then, one country is the same as the country, the budget is the same. The budget, it is the list of debit and credit. So the Finance Minister is in the legislature. So the budget is prepared by economics experts. Those are on belongs to the Department of Finance Ministry. Those are on the Department of Ministry of Finance. So they prepare the budget. So they, they prepare the budget and submit to the budget to government. At the time, any suggestion, any uh, complications in that the minister and chief minister sits and discuss it about the welfare of people. So the budget is totally prepared by the department of the executive. Those functions, those functions are called financial functions. So the finally welfare functions in Telugu Sankshima Padakaru so nowadays, the government take more welfare programs to the side of people who prepare the programs of welfare. The department of executive prepare the programs of welfare. So the government only give, the government take more development activities about the people of people. The preparation is in total hands of Department of Executive. The Department of Executive prepared the list of which is better, which is better. Okay? So, these functions are, are in the side of Executive also. So, the functions of Executive, the one is Defense and Foreign Affairs. The second one is Administrative Functions. The third one is Legislative functions, the fourth one is financial functions, the fifth one is welfare functions. So these are all the functions of the executive side.